Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saintsman, and today I'm actually going to be answering some questions that you guys asked me on Twitter. It's been a while since we've done a Q&A, so I thought we'd do one again. And these obviously are, are mainly about the Diamond Heist. It's been out for a couple of weeks now, so I thought it was pretty relevant to, to answer some questions about it. Starting us off, the first one we have from Robert. When do you think we're going to be able to get the diamonds as a target in the casino heist? So, yeah, for those unaware, they have a, a separate or, or another, an extra vault item that I don't think is really in the game. Like, it's not really something that you can get at the moment. Like, they have cash, they have art, and they have gold, but they have another one that are that's diamonds. And, of course, diamonds pay way more. I think it's like a good $500,000 more than gold. Now, I think, and I've said this before, but I think what's going to end up happening with the diamonds, that's going to be like a special event. I don't know when that's going to happen. Your guess is as good as mine, honestly. But, you know, maybe like in a couple of weeks or a week or two, when maybe less people are playing the casino heist, instead of doing double money on casino heist, they'll just do special vault contents on the casino heist and that special vault contents will be the diamonds but yeah if you're wondering i guess about that that's kind of what we know at the moment then we have lewis with the next one do you think they'll ever add more heist members like avi or you know other people later in the game i uh I, you know i think it would be a cool thing obviously there's nothing coming this like in the drip feed because we would have seen that in the game files but that's kind of a cool idea, like adding new NPCs to the heist that, that do certain things. Although, to be fair, though, once you kind of get the hang of the heist, you almost like you might want to keep the hacker as expert. But like the other things, you honestly can probably go the cheapest route so they don't take as much money. So you'll, you'll probably not switch from that. But I'm just I'm kind of disappointed. I know it's it's not Rockstar's MO. They don't seem to want you to play this game solo uh, real easily, but I almost wish that these NPCs legitimately worked like an NPC in a heist. So you could play solo, but you had like, instead of a friend, you had a, an NPC. I think that would be a cool thing to do. Unfortunately, though, you know, that, that might not exactly happen. But yeah, I, I kind of wish they went that route rather than the route they went. But I will say, and I'll ask you guys, if you could add some other NPCs, you know, which ones would you add? I think, honestly, the, the easiest ones to go with would be for the uh, the gunsmith, just because there's many different weapons in the game. So you could have some crazy NPC that gives you better weapons, like maybe Mark II weapons or, hell, maybe even like the alien weapons. You know, I don't know. But that's probably the only route that they could go. Hyperjack, should I buy all the arcade machines? Is it worth it? Well, the, you know, this is unfortunately kind of a few weeks late, perhaps, but I did want to mention this. I, I've seen some people say you actually don't need to buy more than like two <laughs> of the arcade machines to actually get the, the uh, maximum amount of money per day, which is only $5,000 per 48 minutes. And it's very, very unfortunate. Like, I understand maybe why the arcade doesn't make a whole bunch of money, but they literally put a freaking property or a business in the game that makes no money. It makes $5,000 a day. And that's the maximum you can get. You spend like $4 million on this arcade. Granted, yeah, it's mostly for the casino heist. But like, you only get $5,000 for 48 minutes. It's it's kind of crazy. But yeah, I don't even think you need. I think someone like did the math and, and sort of figured it out. You only need to buy like a couple of the arcade machines to actually get that full amount. Chloe, what way do you think is the best to do the heist? And I'm curious to, for your guys' answers on this. Honestly, for me, and I may have mentioned this in a video in the last couple of days, but I think the easiest way is the big con. And that's just because, at least if you do the, the group sex one, you just get straight to the vault and you don't have to deal with anyone. So I think that might be the best way to, to get in there. Although, I will say, though, the silent and sneaky heist, like, it's kind of fun if you do it properly and you don't get caught. Although, that is kind of difficult. It seems like I get caught all the time. But let me know in the comment section, out of the three, which one is your favorite? 
Then we have Tampa. Do you think that this is the last heist update or not? If so, or if not, what are you expecting for the future of heist updates? You know, that's such an interesting question because at the moment, like, yeah, we really don't know much about GT Online in the future. The only thing we do know is that a couple of months ago, one of the head Rockstar devs said that they wanted to do more with heists. And I guess that's what they did with the casino heist. So I don't know if we'll ever get more heists. Number one, because what story, you know, what sort of heist could you tell? I mean, they could just make a completely random one, you know, out of left field, like the Doomsday heist. That was a lot of fun. But there's not a whole bunch of, uh, I guess, possibilities, at least off the top of my head. They'll, they'll have to dig in and make one up if they really wanted to. But I would say, what am I expecting? If they ever did add new heist, the one freaking thing is to pay, like, a reasonable amount of money like yes if you get the golden bars or even the artwork the payouts aren't bad with the casino heist but the cash payout is terrible with the casino heist with all the fees and everything and like it's just i find it real real disappointing that throughout the entire thing lester's like oh this is the biggest score of all time i've ever done i've dethroned myself like, dude, you freaking, we got, like, you $25 million in story mode, which has already happened, like, in the game timeline, and they're acting like that's not a thing. So I just wish that the heist would pay, like, the actual amount. Like, if you think about it, you actually could make more money from a slot machine inside the casino than you can from actually robbing the casino. I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. Like, I just wish that the heists were a very sort of... Maybe a, maybe not too long, but like, you know, a couple hours worth of prep. And then there's just like a massive like five to ten million dollar reward. Like that I don't know. Maybe maybe that's too much to ask for, but that's that's really what I wish. Joey, how do you they expect us to find all the jammers and slasher clues without looking at all? It's really dumb. I wish they had some sort of short stories to go with them or something. Well, there's kinda like they, they did tease it a little bit, I think, like on the loading screens and there might even been like a text message that went out. You know, but it is one of those things when you really think about it, these like little collectibles around the map. How are you supposed to find them if you don't look it up on the Internet? Right. It's it's one of those things. It's like Rockstar. They're actually relying on, you know, us as the community to make these maps and show them off to find everything because it's just not reasonable to expect to be able to find yeah all 50 jammers all 84 collectibles uh, of the other stuff, you know, all these other things that are in the game. It's like, you would never find that if you were doing it legit. So yeah, it's one of those weird things. I don't know. Raven with the next one though, will you, or what do you think rockstar will increase the payout since most of the community has negativity uh, on the highest part of the DLC? Well, like I said, and again, the game, you know, it's been out for a couple of weeks now. So we maybe have a better understanding of how this heist works. At the beginning, the heist payouts were a lot lower just because, one, everyone was getting cash, and cash is the worst. Also, I'm sure everyone was probably doing, like, expert uh, NPCs, so they were taking a lot more of the cut. And especially if you're doing it with, like, four friends. I mean, Jesus, you, you probably get, like, 200K if that. But if you efficiently, like, plan it out, and you're only doing it with, like, you and a buddy, so it's two people splitting the whole thing... You can get a decent, like a pretty good payout because you can get gold, which I believe the maximum you get is like 2.6 million. And then if you choose like the lesser NPCs, because they really don't matter that much, then you can get like 10% more, if not like maybe 15% more. And you might end up getting like 1.3, 1.4 mil per person, which I think is a relatively good payout for it because the heist is real easy once you get it down pat. So, no, I don't think Rockstar is going to do it. I just kind of wish that they would have explained it a little bit more because I think that's where the confusion and the, the sort of negativity came from. Like, it wasn't really explained, and, and that's unfortunately what happened. And then the final question we have from Alex, and this will be the question of the day. Since they added F1 cars in GTA, do you think Rockstar will do a Hot Wheels car concept? Uh, and this not necessarily is about Hot Wheels, but I'm just curious... Now that we have a new car class, it's the open wheel class that only has those two F1 cars, if any at all, what sort of like crazy new car class would you want to see in GTA Online? For me, uh, I mean, they have like a million different Hot Wheel examples. If they want to go super crazy, I mean, that'd be cool. I just, 
I, I, I'm going to go back. I wish, and it's not really new, but I just wish they would split the supercar class into two classes, like hypercars and then supercars, because it would make things way more balanced. And I, I wish they would have do they would have done that rather than just keep adding to the supercar class. But I am curious if, if there's any like crazy out there sort of classes that you guys want to see in the game. That is it with the video, though. Thank you all for watching. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA Online content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.